Well, you guys got another video here for you. Do you need to update your PC drivers? These are your device drivers in your computer for all of the hardware that you have in your PC. Now, any type of hardware, like any peripheral that is plugged into your computer or any hardware you have in your PC will require a driver to work correctly. These include webcams, mice, printers, and just about any other piece of hardware that you have. So it's important that we keep these updated so they work properly and you don't have any issues. These provide security, fixing bugs, and fix any sort of problems that you may be having. So if you look inside your device manager here, so any sort of hardware we have plugged in or inside the computer will be listed here, which is like our audio, our disk drives, our monitors, keyboard and mice, and things like that. So if we right click and go to properties here, you'll be able to see the information about the driver that you have installed here. It's uh, the driver date. It gives you the driver version. It also lets you update the drivers from here as well. Windows does a pretty good job at keeping these updated. But sometimes you need to go to the manufacturer's website and download these. There's a rollback driver here if you're having issues with the latest driver. Now let's take a look at a more common one, which is your display adapter, which is going to be your graphics card. Whether it be onboard graphics or an actual graphics card, it will be listed here. And you'll see it. This one is an RTX 2070 Super. You can see we can go to properties here and it will give you the information saying the device is working properly. And it will also give you some other information about the driver. And it will also give you information about the details of that driver. You can even look for the installation date of that driver. So if you haven't updated your drivers in a while, you can check when the driver was installed. So go to first installation date here and you can see the value here, which is the 13th of the 4th, 2022, and it will tell you the time as well. So it's good indication of when this driver was installed for the display adapter. Now it's important to keep your drivers updated to fix any security issues like vulnerabilities, fix any bugs that might be happening, and this can also improve frame rates, stability, and fix other issues. This also can fix a lot of issues with DLSS, also G-Sync, FreeSync, and Super Resolutions. You can see here it's going to patch your computer with known vulnerabilities for graphics cards and other sort of drivers that you might need to fix vulnerabilities. So it's important to keep these updated. These are regularly released by Microsoft and by NVIDIA and AMD and Intel to make sure your system is secure and updated. These are vulnerabilities that people can use to gain access to your computer. So as you can see, it's essential to keep your drivers updated on a regular basis, and you can fix known issues for your webcams and also your printers and any other device that you're plugging into a computer, especially if you're using a different operating system that might need an updated driver to work correctly. So making sure you keep these updated will resolve a lot of these known issues. And this issue is happening all of the time. So when do you update all your drivers? Well, if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, you can install the GeForce Experience and sign in, and this will keep your drivers updated. If you don't want to sign in and do any of that stuff, you can go to the manufacturer's website for your graphics card like GeForce and download the automatic driver update, and it will automatically update it for you. Or you can download the drivers manually by punching in the correct details for your graphics card and then downloading that latest graphics card driver. This is the same for AMD. So you can sign in and it will automatically keep these updated. Now Microsoft do update drivers on a regular basis as well to keep your system safe. You can also do this via the Windows updates where you can go into Windows updates and update your computer and it sometimes updates drivers that have vulnerabilities and known issues. So if you're having some sort of strange thing happening to your computer, then you might want to check all your drivers because it does fix a lot of bugs and it also fixes a lot of vulnerabilities. And we did talk about DLSS and G-Sync and FreeSync and super resolution type drivers that we need to keep updated because they're improving them all the time. Now, if you're using AMD, it's going to be the same story and they need to be updated on a regular basis to make sure you're getting the best possible frame rates and fixing any sort of bugs and any sort of vulnerabilities. So if you're one of these people that like to de-bloat NVIDIA drivers 
and also debloat your system and turn off any sort of Windows updates, you can end up missing out on a lot of these essential updates. Now, to go to system information in the search box here, this will give you the manufacture of your motherboard. And this is important because you can check for BIOS updates and other chipset drivers, which are very important to the motherboard. So go into your system settings if you don't know what your motherboard is, and it will tell you what motherboard you have. You can then go to Google and search for that particular brand of motherboard, and this will give you all of the information you need. It'll also tell you the version of BIOS that you have. So if you're having some sort of hardware issue where you're plugging something in and it's not working correctly, maybe your BIOS is way outdated and it needs to be updated to fix a lot of these instabilities and other issues that you might be having. So you can go to the manufacturer's website and click on the support button here and then go down to where it says driver and utility. Your motherboard may be different and then you can search for the operating system here. I'm going to be doing Windows 11 64 and we're going to go down and take a look. You can see we have LAN drivers, wireless drivers, chipset drivers which are the most important ones here and we have audio drivers and all the other types of drivers that come with this motherboard. It's important that you keep these updated. And you can do this manually by going to the manufacturer's website and downloading them. Now, Windows does a pretty good job at keeping these updated. But it's always good to check once in a while to see if there's any sort of updates available. Now, because this is pretty new hardware, you're going to constantly get new updates all of the time. If you're using old hardware, manufacturers sometimes cease updates for these motherboards and this is where you can start getting outdated drivers and things like that so you can see here in our bios there is a beta version available which i wouldn't advise you updating to but there's other versions here as well and you can see my bios is very outdated now keeping your bios updated here will help improve stability performance and other vulnerability and security updates you can see here there's also some other features that will be fixed like CPU compatibility and also RAM compatibility. So if you've got new hardware, sometimes they constantly update the BIOS to make it much more acceptable with other brands of uh, RAM and CPUs. And sometimes you can't even upgrade to the latest CPU unless you flash your BIOS. You can see here, improve system performance, and you can see supports the Ryzen 2001 series APUs. So if you want to put those into the motherboard, you will need to flash your BIOS to make it acceptable with that particular type of CPU. And there's other things inside here as well, which you can see, which it means updating the BIOS to get better performance with other things like DRAM compatibility and also fan control function and a load of other features that they add in to their motherboard BIOSes. So if you're having random crashing or you're having some sort of issue, then check your motherboard BIOS because it might be the fact that they've improved the DRAM compatibility, which might mean it will make your system more stable if you've got a particular type of RAM in there. And also you can upgrade to the latest CPUs here. So it's important to keep an eye out for things like this. Also AMD RAID UEFI drivers, and other things like that which they add to fix either uh, stability issues or maybe to add them so you can use them. So always check these out. Also, it's important to keep your chipset and other drivers updated. You can download these manually and install them. You need to unpack them so you can install them onto the computer. Now, another thing that you might want to do is when you do a fresh install of Windows, it's head over to the manufacturer's website and download all of the drivers and get them installed on the computer. If it's a brand new build, you might want to keep an eye out for BIOS updates on brand new motherboards because they release quite a lot of them on new hardware. Now, don't just rely on Windows to install the drivers for you because sometimes they can have issues with drivers that Microsoft install, especially graphics drivers. So I like to go and download the drivers from the main manufacturer's website and get them all installed myself and do it all manually. So it's important that you do this when you first do a fresh install of Windows as well. Now, normally Windows takes care of the drivers all being automatically updated, but it's always good to keep an eye out, especially if you're having some sort of issue. Now, if you're running an Intel system 
uh, it might look slightly different because obviously you might have uh, a slightly different setup. Now, another thing to take note here of is software companies that offer you driver update solutions like companies like driver max and a bunch of other ones there's loads of them out there on the internet and these are really not necessary they what they want you to do is buy a piece of software that keeps your drivers updated in the background and you'll get other ones like driver booster i see it on everyone's computer where they fall into the trap of thinking that they need software like this to keep their drivers updated windows does a pretty good job at doing it and also people fall into the trap of thinking that they need this because they've read some sort of article online. If you go online, these companies have been known to do this for many, many years where they'll write articles about the best driver update software available. You can click on any of the links and read them. And basically it's going to give you a bunch of paid software that you need. A lot of these affiliated links where they can get a bit of kickback if you click on them and buy them. And this is the reason why they do it. A lot of these softwares will scan your system and tell you that you need drivers. And basically to get these drivers updated, you need to pay for it. And, you know, basically you don't need to use software like this. And these companies have been making uh, adverts like this on their websites for many, many years. And they will do because they make good money on it. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. So my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. A big special shout out to Jedi Buddhist, Phil's Computer Repair, and also Gary Belts, Welsh Tony One, and Geo Sam. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.